Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Tuesday, March 4th. Uh, Monday, March 4th. Why do I always say the wrong day or date every time? It's Monday, March 4th. Good morning. Hopefully some people are going to join me here any minute now. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a good day. I haven't seen the news this morning. Hey, Christine, because uh, my TV is not working. But So I don't know about the weather everywhere else, but I know here it's 23 degrees. <laughs> good morning, Landa. Hey, Christine. So it's really cold. Um... Anyway, so I, my point was I hope you're warm wherever you are or staying warm. It's actually cold in this room right now because this uh, my studio is my garage. And I do have heaters out here, but it hasn't had time to warm up today. So it's a little chilly, but I'll get warm when I do this video. So I'm not um, going to wear a jacket or anything. Okay, so as you guys come on, thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Um, uh, if you comment on the video today, like Landa and Christine already have, you will be entered into a drawing to win a prize, which I'll show you in a second. And if you, um, share the video, first of all, make sure you comment that you shared in case your privacy, privacy settings don't allow me to see that. Um, and then I'll put you in another drawing for the subtle embossing folder, which is this folder right here, which you can't really, um, uh, well, you kind of can actually, but it's hard to tell what it looks like, but we're going to use it in our project today. So the subtle embossing folder. Hey, Karen. Hey, Kathy. Uh, make sure y'all comment so you can get entered into my drawing. Um, anyway, for the subtle folder for sharing the video today or placing an online order by March 11th. And that's because I'm going to do this, these drawings on March 12th. Hey, Rhonda. Glad everybody's here today. Yay. Hope you guys are all warm. Um, okay, so as you jump on, give me a shout. Say hey, whatever. So you can get entered into the drawing um, for commenting. And then share the video and comment that you shared so you can get entered into a drawing for the subtle embossing folder, which is awesome. Uh, the draw, the commenting prize, so basically for watching the video and telling me you watched it by commenting, um, you're going to get entered to win this card kit. This was my January online ordering special. So in it is a full roll of the Whisper White um, Classic Weave Ribbon and the, the supplies to make four cards using Forever Lovely. Um, and so let me show you the four cards we did. This was my online ordering special in January. So anyone who had placed an online order with me of 25 or more in January with that month's host code was mailed this kit. And there's PDF instructions. I sent them and I'll send to the winner. So they made these four cards. Look at that. A Wink of Stella on there. And this one. Uh, yeah, I think it has, yes, Wink of Stella. This card, and these definitely, this stamp set is definitely not just Valentine. It's any time of year you want to tell somebody how great they are. Um, so, enter or comment on the video um, by March 11th so you can be entered into the drawing to win this set of card packet mailed to you. And I'll send you the PDF instructions. Makes four cards. And that was my online ordering special last month. Of course, I have a new one this month. Comment uh, to get entered. Share the video. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, Lisa. Now oh, I forgot who I said hi to. <laughs> Surely, I think I said hi, Evelyn. Okay. Um, share the video and comment that you did just in case I can't see it for, because of your privacy to win the subtle embossing folder. All right. So I'm counting down to a million dollars in career sales. Um, and of course you guys can help me out if you need anything, feel free to place an order. <laughs> um, I think I haven't had a chance to do the math because, um, we're at a, um, time and at the beginning of the month where we can't, we, our reports are different because Stampin' Up! is finishing up last month. So it's not, I have to do math and subtract and stuff. Anyway, I think I'm about $6,500 away 
from having a million dollars in sales since I started with the company, which was in 2001. So it's almost been 18 years. Woohoo! Um, so everybody who places an order with me from now until I reach my million will be entered into a drawing for a hundred dollars in product of your choice. So that's how you can get entered. And from now is basically um, January. Uh, so if you've already placed an order, you're going to be in. Um, and then in August, I uh, believe the date is August 24th, is my cust my normal customer appreciation. Thank you, Shirley. And that's an event, a live event I have um, with free projects and all that stuff for, yes, Evelyn, um, for my customers from the past year. Well, this year it's going to be a million dollar celebration. Um, there's going to be, it'll just be different than usual. It'll be stamping, a big party. Um, food pri prizes lots of prizes there's going to be big prizes there's going to be little prizes but there'll be lots of prizes hey becky thank you christine i'm trying to see thank you shirley i knew i missed a couple there um anyway now if you're a long distance customer there will be you will be included um i just don't have all my details worked out yet so this is event is for everyone who's ordered in the last 12 months from me that's August 2018 to August 2019, in case you're not sure, because that's when the event will be. Uh, so, if you need anything, I would greatly appreciate your order. <laughs> Just, um, of course, you can order online, or you can contact me, and I can help you place an order. Okay, this month, I have classes, as usual. They are March 15th and 16th, Friday night, Saturday morning. Friday is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And <laughs> I'm in a group message on Facebook and I'm getting so many messages right now from that. Hey, Jennifer. Um, anyway, classes. So Saturday is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're always come and go. Um, we run them all day so you can come in as long as you give yourself enough time to finish. Some people come both days and work on some Friday and finish on Saturday. So... Uh, let me show you what we made last month. There are four classes to choose from. And I don't want to forget this one. There are four classes to choose from. First of all, we have our basic card class. Four cards for $15 free with a $20 order. These are the cards we made in February's class. So cute. That one's kind of copied from the Stampin' Up! catalog. This one with the wonderful romance bundle. Ooh, the lights. <laughs> um, and no line watercoloring technique. That one I copied from April McCrite. This one uses actually the stamp set um, All That You Are that, that I'm going to be, uh, that's my online order special this month. Anyway, and then this one. Oh, the lights are so bright today. So this one uses the... Um, a new bundle you can get free with a purchase. Hey, Linda. Um, okay, so that that was card class. Remember, you can come this month. Different cards, of course. Four cards. Fifteen dollars free with minimum order. Uh, then there's a stamp a stack of cards. So if you if four cards aren't enough for you, you can come make twenty cards. You make five each of four designs for uh, thirty dollars. Or if you place a minimum order, you only pay $10 for uh, 20 cards. Okay, so the themes this month are thank you, thinking of you, just a note or friend. Uh, that means I haven't made the card yet and I don't know which one it's going to say. And birthday. So those are the four themes that we will be making at stamp -a stack this month and 20 cards. Okay, here are the ones we made last month. It was all birthdays. So we use the super cute tea time stamp set with the matching framelits you can get free with purchase. The new all adorned stamp set that's free with purchase. Um, um, this set, which I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> this was our masculine birthday card. So if you love horses, that's a great set. I am blanking out. And then this super cute card with the sweetest thing stuff. So that was stamp a stack. Um, if you bring a friend, you get to make a bonus card. And this was the bonus. 
and um, what was I going to say? Oh, I got this idea from Pinterest, I believe. And then there's scrapbooking, three 12 by 12 pages for $15, free with a minimum order. And so on this page, I just loved this little section right here with all of the um, candy jar stuff from Sweetest, I think it's called Sweetest Thing, and the cupcakes from Celebration that are free with purchase. And this is the new, um, some dyes you can purchase this month, which I'll show you guys soon. Um, in a little bit. So anyway, that's page one. We make three pages each month. Two that match. Here was page two. And then one that doesn't match and we'll either make the uh, page two next month or we made page one the previous month. So we made page one here. It's a beautiful day. We use that foil paper that's no longer available, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you have it, that's a good way to use it. And then this is page two that we will make this month. Hey, Linda in Idaho. Hey, Pam. Everybody that's joined, if you haven't said hi, make sure you comment if you want to get entered into my drawing. Um, so anyway, look, welcome spring. So cute. And then we have this section here. It's going to be cute. We're making that this month. Plus two more that are not designed yet. Okay, and then there's the, the product-based class, which is currently the sampler class. You can see all my lights back there. This is the one we made last month with the needle and thread needle point nook bundle suite, which I told you guys it's so cute, even if you're not into needle point. Uh, everybody, hey Amy, um, everybody who took the class told me that they agreed that they took the class anyway, even though they didn't think they would like this bundle, and now they love it and want it or bought it. Okay, so this month for that class, we're using, I did pull it, the Beauty Abounds bundle, which has the all the butterfly framelits and this stamp set here, and we're making a sampler again. So nine three by three squares that you put on a piece of 12 by 12 white, and you can frame it, um, display it, turn it into nine different cards, whatever you want. Um, that class, is uh, you can get it to go first of all the other classes are in person only you can order that um, sampler class to go it doesn't include the frame when you get it to go or in person you purchase your frame for 10 bucks at Walmart but um, and then you just switch them out every month you change your design and for to go it doesn't include the 12 by 12 white just because of mailing restrictions so you just provide a piece of 12 by 12 paper Anyway, and in person, you do get your 12 by 12. It's $28 for the live class and $35 to go or $15 for tutorials only. Every month, it includes at least $20 in merchandise with that fee. So it's a great deal. Um, this month, you get the Whisper White Flax Ribbon, the Gingham Gala Adhesive Back Sequins, and a half pack of Gingham Gala Designer Paper to finish your project. Okay, so... That's the classes, just uh, another, uh, say the dates again, March 15th and 16th, that's Friday and Saturday live. Um, to sign up for the to-go class, the deadline is March 11th. Same thing for stamp -a stack sign up by Monday, March 11th, and then um, the to-go sampler class is mailed a week after the live event. Okay, um, each month I have a demonstrator gathering as well. It was actually... Uh, we it's passed already it was Saturday the reason I didn't do my Facebook live on Friday was because I had a party Friday here a home party here at my house thank you Cheryl and um, at that anyway because of that I couldn't get it together to do a newsletter and then Saturday was my demonstrator meeting and then Sunday was yesterday that was my birthday yay thank you for all the uh, birthday wishes on Facebook. I got so many. I love it. Thank you guys very much and I appreciate it. I also received lots of birthday cards mostly at the demonstrator meeting but some in the mail. Um, I think all from demonstrators in my group. <laughs> um, let's see. This is from Gail. Thank you Gail. I'll show them all to y'all real quick. I'll just do them quick but I may not be able to say all the names simply due to the quickness. This one has such pretty coloring on it. Um, 
Oh, Hannah. I forgot. Hannah uh, sent me a card, and she is not a demonstrator yet. She used to be, but she's not yet. Uh, Stephanie sent me this one. So pretty, like Texas blue bonnets there. Okay, um, there is a beautiful magnet in there from Susan, who gave me this one. Super cute. Shirley, Shirley Taylor, she's watching now. Everybody loved this card at the meeting, Shirley. Um, they were com complimenting it. This card, check out how she used that designer paper in the middle. That's pretty cool. Um, here we go. <laughs> that's really pretty. I love this. Um, I can't remember if that set is still current or not. I need to check, but it looks like a cake, like the stamp stamps the cake stuff. Um, this one, look at the matching envelope with the embossing folder and the front. She's so fancy. I believe that's Mary Ann. Yes, and look, Mary Ann knows to give a card with a sticky note so that you can reuse it. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Yes. I'm so lucky. Super cute. I think this one's from Pat. I believe I'm doing this by memory now. I think that was Barbara. And last but not least, Landa, right? Yes, Landa. Thank you so much. Such a pretty card. Um, so, it's pretty cool stamping. You can get handmade cards from people. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, back to the meeting. So, our meeting was Saturday. They always get me a cake because my birthday falls around the meeting date. And I thank you guys very much for the cake. Um, even though it was purple, Landa, not pink, like you wrote on the order form, we still loved it. <laughs> and um, because pink is our color in our team. Um, and they had snacks and cards and all kinds of stuff. I got flowers from Barbara there in my kitchen. I should have brought those in here. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what we made at the, at the event. So every time, every month, when you're a demonstrator in my group, you uh, can come to this meeting or you can purchase these projects to go. And I actually mail them to you stamped and assembled. Um, and this is what we made this month. So next month, our meeting is April 6th. So if you wanna come check us out, it is free to check it out the first time. Um, when you're, when you're a demonstrator and you've had your first free one, it's only $5 a month. It's optional. You don't have to come. And, um, uh, we have stamping, we have demonstrations and business training and food and fun. Um, it's just a lot of fun. I stream it on Facebook live on our private Facebook group. So if you're not local, you can check it out there. And, um, if you want to be part of our group. We would love to have you. You can do that. Um, first of all, you don't have to sell anything. You can do it for a hobby. You can do it for your discount. Um, or you can do as much as you want. But there's no restrictions with Stampin' Up. If you um, don't end up doing anything, there's, you know, nothing bad happens. So, there is a special, as y'all know probably, that ends on March 31st. And that is to get our starter kit, you pay $99 plus tax and you get $175 in anything you want. Anything you want. It does exclude celebration because that's free with a purchase and the starter kit is a different kind of purchase. Um, but it's a better deal. $99 plus tax, you get $175 of any current stuff you want. You could get the big shot, you could get a bunch of stamps, you could get a business kit. Um, and then, then you can purchase anything you want at your discount. And when we purchase, we get all the specials. So every 50 or 100 I spend, I get a free gift. Um, I get host benefits, all that stuff. Hey, Carol. Everybody, I see some of you joined. Stephanie, Karen Bray. Y'all need to say hi if you want to get entered in my drawing. Like, make a comment there. Um, okay, so $175 for $99. Plus tax only, so $107 depending on your tax rate. Or you can get the 129 kit and get this bag with it. Look at that. I got. I have a little bit of stuff in my bag. No, I can't really hold it properly for y'all to see, but it's an awesome bag. It has a beautiful tag on it that says Stampin' Up. Um, it has compartments and zippers and pockets inside and pockets outside. Um, these, the two big ones out here hold punches. There's, like I said, pockets and compartments and zippers and everything. For 
instead of 99 for 129 you get the bag and the 175 in merchandise thank you karen only until the end of <laughs> coffee going and watching me yay i love it um what did i say only till the end of march but the bag is while supplies last so keep that in mind if you want that bag they haven't said they're running low yet which is awesome hey stacy but we don't know you got to get it in case it runs out um, as you guys are joining, don't forget if you share the video, you're going to be entered into a drawing for the subtle embossing folder, but you need to say you shared it to just in case your privacy settings don't tell me you shared it. And if you comment, you get entered into a drawing for a card kit to make these four cards with a roll of ribbon. And I'll do that drawing on March 12th. Okay. Um, so I told you about our demo gathering. Other upcoming events, everybody can earn a free event from me. It's called Celebration Celebration. Um, so it's from January 1st through March 31st. Um, if you can earn this free event from me three ways. Host a party with me. Um, I'm offering the Made to Bloom kit party, which I did forget to pull that kit out, but it's super cute and extremely easy to put together. There's still time to do a home party with that. Thank you, Teresa, and hello. Um, if you do it, um, obviously, if we can just fit it in by the end of March. And then if it's, um, if you have five or more friends come to your party for that, you'll earn this event for free. Um, number two, if you spend $150 or more total with me by the end of March, uh, January through March, you'll get to come to this event for free. And number three, if you get that starter kit during January through March, you get to come to this event for free. It's a Friday, April 26th. If you can't attend, uh, first of all, there's an a.m. and a p.m. option, but if you cannot attend live uh, and you do click my RSVP link that I send out to you because you placed orders or did the other stuff, you'll get the stuff. You'll get the projects and the gifts. Um, but at the live event, there'll be drawings, also specials offered, free stamping, snacks, and, you know, a lot of fun. Okay, so that's a free event you can earn for me, from me during celebration. Stamping bingo! We're doing another one in March. It's March 22nd, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m., $29, four projects. Let me show you three of the ones we made at the last bingo. And that one. This one, which is pretty much my favorite because it's so cute and this one this was a good um it was highly inspired by pinterest but i changed it a little i simplified it uh anyway so four projects six games of bingo chance to win hundreds of dollars in prizes uh snacks and all that stuff friday march 22nd Okay, and then at the end of March is my retreat in a box. What is that? It's for all of you who aren't getting to come to my live retreat, either because it's full or because you just can't, because it, you know, you live too far or <clears throat> you can't get away for a full weekend or whatever. Um, this is a full four-day weekend retreat where everybody goes, brings all their stuff, and we work on stuff there. But if you can't attend live, you can purchase what they're going to get from me to go oh yay becky yes um and the frog framelits are available now which i'm going to show y'all but um okay so the retreat in a box the retreat portion is uh going to be themed on the bloom by bloom bundle it will actually use the punches tube i forgot to pull them and the designer paper and the memories and more kit um all that stuff, the enamel dots, all that stuff is what we're going to theme our make and takes on. So you're going to get a bag, like an actual bag that's exclusive to this event. Um, all the supplies to make, I believe we have eight or nine projects. I have actually designed them, believe it or not. Um, $50 or more worth of product and then gifts from us. And um, there's other stuff as well, I can't think, but uh, the gifts are the other big thing. Okay, so that's the just the retreat in a box. All of the details are in the emails I've been sending out about it, so if you're not on my email list, you can sign up for that. Then I'm offering the Pet Lovers class. We're gonna make 
four cards and two treat holders. We're also going to use the punch that matches the cat, um, but I didn't pull it out because this is a bundle you can purchase right now, and this set is sold separately from the cat punch because a lot of people already own it. Um, anyway, the pet lovers class, you can sign up for that. Then I'm offering the tea together. I forget what I called the class, but I'm, we're using tea together stamp set with the dies. But if you don't have the dies, you can hand cut it. And those dies are the only thing from celebration that we know you can purchase later after celebration ends. Um, and then we're using the de beautifully detailed laser cut paper from the occasions catalog in this class um, and then april is offering the geared up garage class she will be using the framelits as well and i've seen her samples uh, you definitely want to take that class it's um, masculine of course but it's they're really cute and then april's offering the humming along sampler class so just like my sampler i showed you guys the 12 by 12 with the three um and the nine squares that's another class. So when you get that RSVP link in the email, you can, you click the RSVP link and then you choose what you want to take. You can even, let's just say you only want to take the tea together class to go. Um, then you only click on that. You won't get the retreat in a box or any of the other classes, or you click only the retreat in the box, or you click retreat in a block box plus one or two stamp sets, you know, whatever. I know, Teresa, your stamp set's not here yet. <laughs> um, I think those maybe are coming today. Um, anyway, the point is you can pick and choose what you want to take on that retreat in a box. So, check it out. I don't know if I... Yes, the deadline is March 18th to sign up for that. Um, and kits are mailed April by April 8th. Don't forget about my stamping cruise. You can sign up for that. Uh, I believe June is the deadline to guarantee the good group rates. But even after that, uh, if there's space, they'll let you sign up. But the group rates are what you want for the cruise. It is a stamping cruise, but you, not everyone that attends has to do the stamping portion. That's an optional add-on. So a lot of people bring their entire families, a group of friends, and maybe only two of you are into um, crafting or whatever. But at the cruise, it's like a big retreat. So there's product, tons of product with your fee, like $150 worth. Six different classes that are self-paced that you can that you do take. They're included. Everything's included. It's not a la carte. Um, of course, the cruise includes all your meals. And you can tr choose the type of room you stay in. So that can save you money. Or you can go balcony or whatever. Um, you meet all these new crafters. It's fun, fun, fun. This will be our third annual crafting cruise, and it's they're just getting better and better. And they go out of Galveston. Yes, Helen, and hey, Barbara. Hey, Barbara and Helen. <laughs> Sorry, I keep putting my finger in front of the camera. And good morning, Teresa, if I didn't say good morning. But um, it's just so much fun. So think about it. Let me know what questions you have, all that stuff. Um, it, it's October 6th through 13th, 2019. Okay, so if you want more info on all this stuff and you're not getting it, sign up for my email list. You can contact me to sign up or uh, I'm going to put a link to it when I edit this video after I post it. it. You know, when I finish the live, there'll be a link and you can just sign up for emails from me. Stampin' Up! Specials Celebration, of course. It's the last month, last chance. Here's all the stuff you can get free with a purchase. <laughs> there, there you go. That's all y'all need to know. No, um, so Stampin' Up! just added that you can choose this Painted Seasons Designer Paper free with a $50 purchase, or you can still get the bundle, which is the Painted Seasons stamp set, which you're going to want. It's beautiful. And the Designer Paper free with a $100 purchase. You cannot get the stamp set any other way than this bundle. But then you can get additional paper if you want free with a $50 purchase. This paper is adorable. First of all, that's my favorite sheet right there with the little mushrooms. Um, it goes with a lot of our stamp sets in the big catalog. The fox, um, hedgehogs. There's lots of stamp sets that it goes really cute with. Um, because it's like foresty. 
There's even a sheet that you can use as Christmas or winter. There's just some nice generic, um, whether masculine or not, but they could be masculine. There's this one. And I believe, I can't remember now, but it's a little different um, quantity. It, you still get 12 sheets, but it's a little different quantity than our normal. So you get more of each sheet. So painted, we still have, of course, the butterfly, botanical butterfly designer paper. Um, oops, messing up my basket. <laughs> Let me show you real quick. That's not it. Um, so hoppy together. That's the set Becky was talking about. <laughs> um, this is Hello Cupcake. That's the one I mentioned earlier from my scrapbook class. Part of my story. Great words there for scrapbooking or card making. Home to Roost. The Rooster. By the Bay. It's really pretty. Plus you can watercolor it. <laughs> Lovely Lattice. And uh, Lasting Lily. Then, in addition, and that includes, oh, well, I didn't show this one, sorry. All Adorned is uh, new. We can get free with a 50. Um, oh, and the, sorry, I'm just skipping things that are in here. The new country, country floral embossing folder which looks like that when it's embossed and yes you have to have that it's like a must-have uh, so some of those are in the new brochure and some are from the old brochure and I'm showing you what's available what's left um, so if I didn't show it it might not be available anymore or I missed it and then Stampin' Up! added some new items that we can choose free with a $50 purchase includes that painted seasons designer paper I already mentioned Share What You Love Embellishment Kit, Scattered Sequin Embossing Folder, Mini Pizza Boxes, Pearlized Doilies, you get two of those for one $50 purchase, two rolls of rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon, the Petal Promenade Designer Paper, which is the one um, actually used on that birthday card I got, <laughs> and the delightfully detailed designer paper from the uh, annual catalog. So, so much to choose from. Don't forget... It'll help me if you place an order if you need anything. And then if you go up to 50, you can get um, uh, a free gift from Stampin' Up. I have samples in there too, but um, I feel like I'm going long, so I'm not going to show those right now. Samples using that product. Um, and then, of course, we still can order from the Occasions catalog until June. Just a reminder. Uh, I don't remember if it was this way in last month's video or not, but the butterfly punch and the cake punch are not available currently. They ran out because they were more popular than anticipated. And so because it's going to take so long to get them in, they didn't want to put them on back order, which would cause a lot of shipping costs from stamp for stamping up when, you know, shipping it back out. Uh, anyway, so it's this punch here, which is called the Cake Builder Punch. And then the Butterfly, I think it's called <clears throat> Butterfly Duet, maybe. <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can find it. Yes, right there. Butterfly Duet Punch. You cannot order those two right now. Um, a lot of stuff in this book is popular, <laughs> a lot of it. So a lot of it is getting on the low inventory list and stuff so definitely stock up on anything you like now we make our own stamps so that's usually never a problem if stamps are on back order it's like for a week or less but the accessories we don't make so definitely get what you want just in case hey Su Susie make sure you comment so you can get entered into my drawing um, oh paper pumpkin which is our monthly craft kit in the mail it's just basically like um any of the boxes the beauty box or whatever stampin ups is called paper pumpkin and it's a surprise crafting kit that you can get in the mail each month um, this is the one from february and it's gorgeous that's what, those are the cards it makes um, you always get your embellishments your adhesive which are those blue dots and or dimensionals 
an ink. This is Blackberry Bliss this time, which is also perfect for your Stamparatus. Um, instruct picture and instructions, and they email out a video for instructions. I had a customer at a party the other day say, I just watched the video. It's easier than looking at that paper. Um, a stamp set, and this stamp set, whatever it is, is always only available in Paper Pumpkin. That's the only way to get it. It's exclusive. And then all the supplies you need to make the projects. I have not made mine yet, so I'm just showing you some of the components. Plus to show you how super cute this month's kit was. There's vellum. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, and then your, we had the card bases and the card, the envelopes. You always get your envelopes if it's cards and other stuff. So, um, why am I going on and on about Paper Pumpkin? Because if you get Paper Pumpkin by March 10th, thank you, Karen, for um, this month's kit, you're going to get a free stamp set. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> um, so it always comes with a stamp set, but you're going to get two stamp sets, and they will be different from each other. So that is a bonus. It's only $19 a month. You can subscribe, which I'll put a link for, or you can purchase one month's worth, or three months, or six months, or nine months, or 12 months, I'm sorry. Um, so you can purchase one month at a time, or the other quantities I told you, just in one purchase or you can subscribe so that you're getting it every single month and you don't have to remember to do anything. So the way to purchase it, um, I can do it for you, but on my online store, you know, you click on Paper Pumpkin and then you click on prepaid and you choose which one you wanna pre-purchase. Pre um, but either way, it has to be purchased and activated by March 10th to get that free stamp set. The reason is it's our sixth birthday for Paper Pumpkin. March is the birthday month and it's six years already that we've had that and they just keep getting better and better um, just to remind you guys the new stamps that are red rubber uh, in the occasions and celebration brochures are cling which is new cling and in our new catalog all wood mount will be gone and cling will be replacing any clear or wood mount except for background stamps. You can still get those in wood. So if you haven't seen the information from me yet, go back and check out my January Facebook Live to see all my tips um, and advice for how to use them because it is important. If you just purchase a new stamp set and have no instructions on it, you could ruin your stamp set. Um, but they are awesome. I've been using them now for quite a while. I've had no issues at all. Zero issues, only benefits. Okay, um, we're almost ready to stamp. Let me tell you about my monthly online ordering special. So this month, when you place an online order of $25 or more with this month's host code, which is 4B762ZM7, hopefully I said that correctly, when you place an online order at my store with this host code, you're gonna get, if it's $25 or more, you're going to receive a card kit just like the one I showed you at the beginning, to make four cards using All That You Are, which is such a pretty set. We can do so much with that. Um, if your order is $50 or more, you will also receive a free full accessory. The example is that roll of ribbon in there, but I don't know what our accessory is for this month yet. And um, I do add them all together over the month. So if you start out with a small order and then you order some more later, if it adds up to 50 or more, you're gonna get that. There is an exception though. If you order, when one order, 150 or more, don't put that host code in because uh, by not putting the host code in at 150 or more, then at the end of the order, Stampin' Up! will prompt you to choose free merchandise because basically you've had your own party. <laughs> so order uh, orders of 150 or more individually outside of a party get host benefits. And so you want to take advantage of those host benefits, but I will still give you my gifts. Okay. Um, it doesn't include the stamp set. You provide your stamps, um, but the kit and you'll stamp and assemble. Okay. So we are going to get started on our stamping today. Um, the project we're making is one from my bingo event last month. So I showed you three of those cards. This is the fourth one. 
Um, and I just think it's really cool. And it uses this new set, All Adorned, um, which is free with purchase. It also uses a subtle embossing folder and a bunch of other stuff, which you'll see in just a second. Um, I think that's all I need to say, so let me turn you down and we'll get started stamping. And if I need to adjust that, I will in a second, once I can see it on my screen to my side here. So we're going to use All Adorn Stamp Set and the subtle embossing folder. We're using the Gingham Gala sequence, Stamparatus, the two inch circle punch. These are just my stamps. Uh, I have a navy ink spot here that I'll show you, um, I'll talk about in a second. And then uh, those are the stamps. The reason I wanted to make sure I put this here to remind you, I don't need my foam mat today. This is the Stampin' Up um, Stampin' Pierce mat. But if you are stamping on a table that's flexible, soft, has bumpy, you know, any kind of inconsistent surface, um, it's not super firm, like this is basically laminate, um, then with your photopolymer stamps, you're going to need something under when you stamp. So I would put scratch paper on top of that and then stamp on this to get a good image. And uh, I just want to remind people that in case you are not getting good images put I recommend this foam mat because it works really really well but you can use even your catalog um, just put something nice and firm underneath but it's firm but it has a little bit of give which kind of helps in the stamping okay so I posted online the supplies that we'll be using uh, the paper supplies and they are your card base. Let me just start with that. It's five and a half by eight and a half. So it's a piece of whisper white cut in half. And so I'm going to fold it in half and score it with my bone folder, which just means press really hard and, and um, close it basically. That gives you a nice firm, nice firm, a nice clean fold. <laughs> And it, when you do it with your fingers, when you fold with your fingers, it will be more wrinkly on the inside. That's a technical term, more wrinkly on the inside. Um, always in my classes, when we make a handmade card, which that's all we do, <laughs> I tell them to stamp and sign their name on the back of the card base, which this card is gonna go landscape, so it would be this direction first. And then set this aside and um, We'll add to it later. I have you do that first in case you mess up and do it the wrong direction or upside down or anything else crazy. You stamp it crooked, whatever. Because then you can make that be the front of your card and you'll cover it up and then you have your second chance on the back. Uh, so anyway, the reason we stamp and sign the back is because we want people to know we made it. <laughs> we want to be able to brag and show off. Okay, so I'll set that aside. Um, this is my, well actually let me just show you, this is my balmy blue piece that I am going to emboss in a little bit with the subtle embossing folder. And then here's the other pieces we're going to stamp on. Let me go ahead and add my greeting here just to save a little time and get that out of the way. So I have Night of Navy ink and um, here's the stamp. So it says, you are pretty much the best ever. Um, so it's a great card. We used it as a birthday card in my stamp stack last month. Uh, it's a congratulations card. It's a graduation. It's a way to go. It's great. I think this is a great scrapbooking sentiment to put on a in a scrapbook page and so on. So there's that. You're pretty much the best ever. And then on this scrap piece that's two and a fourth inches wide, because I'm gonna use a two inch circle punch, I'm going to stamp the first medallion image in balmy blue. I'm shaking my camera today by leaning on my table too much. And then I will stamp the second image in Night of Navy. kind of need to be right above this to see what I'm doing. 
<laughs> my camera's right where my head needs to be. But you just look through it, and there actually are spots to to align. It's actually very easy. Um, you could use your stamparatus for this. Since I'm only stamping one, I didn't bother. But if I were going to make multiples of these, I definitely would align that on my stamparatus to be able to do it quickly. And then I'm going to punch it out with a two-inch circle punch. Like that. All right. And that will go on the two and a quarter inch pre-punch Knight of Navy circle. So I've got those pieces. Now let me show you what we're going to do with this one. This is the three and a half inch Whisper White square. And I have my Stamparatus. So what I did was I placed a piece of grid paper on here and I taped it down. I have found that when I'm aligning something in a specific spot, if I don't tape, and that's washi tape, if I don't tape down my um, grid paper, it starts shifting on me, not even slowly, pretty quickly. It's down here now, and <clears throat> that alignment is not where I had it originally. So I did that first, then I drew myself a little, little arrow to say which corner I wanted to use, and I put my square there of cardstock. And sometimes I'll just use like uh, printer paper to do this because you have to test it out. So then I placed the stamp, not here, but I placed the stamp here and I tried to align it perfectly in that corner and then I closed my lid and picked it up. Um, then I tested it and I had to do that three or four times to get it aligned where the corners were good. This was done for the class, so I'm hoping that nothing has shifted since then, and I um, am going to have some good alignment right now. If not, I have my finished sample to show you, and it'll be fine. And just know that something shifted in the weeks since my class. Okay, by the way, in case you're new to Stampin' Up! or new to Stamparatus, this is an, you know, an alternative to the clear block. It helps you align things better. It helps you stamp faster. It helps you stamp multiple things uh, quicker, all that stuff. Um, this plate comes out and you can flip it around. And so then you can put a different stamp on this side. So there's two stamping surfaces. And then it comes with two of these and the other one goes here on the side. And so you get two more stamping surfaces. So that's four stamping surfaces in one tool. It works for photopolymer and red rubber. And there's a little piece, I can't see if this is showing in the video. There's a little piece of foam underneath my grid paper that comes with it, yes, this black foam. You just remove that for um, red rubber. And then there, I have a silicone craft sheet taped underneath the red rub, the foam, I'm sorry, um, to add a little bit of boost, especially for photopolymer stamps. Okay, then I made myself a Knight of Navy Stampin' Spot. We sell these with no ink in them. They're called uninked spots. And I took my Knight of Navy ink refill and put ink on there. Not too much. It takes way less than you would think. Just turn the top blue. The sides don't even have to fill in. It has started to bleed through a little bit from time. But when you first make it, just turn the top whatever color. Squeeze and, you know, move your thing around. And then stop and test it. Um, so, it takes hardly any ink from these to ink one of these up. And if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can start collecting those inks that way as well. Okay, but I use these instead of this one because it doesn't get ink everywhere. And the thing about it is, even if there's ink on your plate, it does not come off on your project, but it can come off on your fingers. And then we get that on our projects. <laughs> so I try to keep as little ink on the plate as possible. Of course, um, nobody's perfect and I do get it there sometimes. So this is how you ink up your stamp. You close the stamparatus and you press right where the stamp is. And you, can, you don't have to press like crazy firm, but you can press very firm. Um, and that's how you do it. Now, if your stamp, if you don't like how it's inked up, the beauty of Stamparatus is you ink it again and stamp again because it stays in the same spot. 
it does come with the two magnets, which I just covered in tape. Um, you need to be careful that you don't get them too close together or they'll snap together and break. And so the tape, first of all, I put a handle so it helps them pick it up. But if they snap together and break, at least they'll be taped together and kind of hold their shape. Okay, so then you just turn it and um, do this three more times. I did see another video where I believe their paper was a three and three quarter inch square but they did the same exact thing I'm doing. And you can do that, and the only difference is there'll be more space between the images on um, side to side. So it's basically your shape for this design just needs to be a square to work on the Stamparatus. So I'm gonna ink that again, because I forgot to mention that whoever I mail the subtle embossing folder to, I'm also going to mail this card to them, so I want it to look decent. <laughs> and the grid paper, by the way, we do carry that in the size for the Stamparatus. I believe it's $4.50, but um, I could be wrong on that. I'm doing that by memory. It's not in our catalog yet, but it will be in the next catalog. So right now it's just on a flyer, and it's on our online store. It's called the grid paper. We carry really large grid paper too for regular stamping which I use all the time and um, anyway but you would get the small grid paper if you were doing it for this okay so here's our last one let me see who's commented Evelyn shared <laughs> hey Mary yes nice to see the Stamparatus at work we have to remember that we even have this tool so at least I do sometimes Sometimes I'm doing things and they're really difficult or time consuming and then I realize I should have got my Stamparatus out for that one. Um, and I think at Bingo when we did this project, I don't think anyone had any trouble with their projects. So, so there we go. Look how neat. It makes this circle. Ah, it's so cool. So just a reminder, three and a half inch square if you want it to look like this. And... Let me grab my Big Shot real quick and emboss that paper. The Big Shot, when you purchase it, it comes with these two pieces here, the platform and the thin die adapter and two cutting pads. And um, at my <laughs> party this weekend, I said it comes with these cutting pads. And then I had to correct myself. Not these that look horrible, <laughs> although they still work. Um, it comes with two crystal clear see-through cutting pads that will eventually look like this once you use them to death. <laughs> um, okay, so it shows you a picture right here of an embossing folder. So this is the platform for embossing, and this is for die cutting, and we don't need that right now, so set it aside. And then I actually am just using some really old plates for my embossing folders. Although it comes with two, you only need one for the dynamic embossing folders, which are super thick. Okay, so we'll just place this cardstock in here. It's balmy blue. It's uh, five by four and a fourth. Four, no, five and a fourth by four. Ah, sorry, five and a fourth by four inches. Always put your cutting pad on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And always insert the folded end into the big shop first it um, possibly can crack the embossing folder if you insert the open end first. And that's why I tell my customers don't run it backwards after you emboss. <clears throat> so what the subtle embossing folder does that you can win for sharing the video today, make sure you comment that you shared, is it makes it your paper look like textured cardstock. And there is a different texture on each side. It's slightly different, but it is different. To me, this side looks like looks more like traditional texture cardstock, <clears throat> and this side looks a little different. <laughs> so, very cool. All right, let's put this card together. Bring our base back in. Oh, I did mean to check. Good, I forgot to check and make sure I had adhesive over here. Um, this card doesn't have any ribbon, so I'm safe to go ahead and attach my fourth of a sheet down to the front. 
Um, I like to hold my paper with two fingers when I'm placing it down like this so that I, it doesn't stick everywhere before I get it aligned and then I let go and press. Um, and then the square that we did on the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is $49. If you add like one little thing to it, you will get a free item with your $50 purchase. But it does more than every other um, uh, stamp alignment tool on the market. It literally has more features and benefits than any of them. Okay, we'll put our circle to inch circle on our two and a quarter inch circle. Those are both punches. And then pop them up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm actually more into cutting these in half nowadays. I never used to do that. Um, but I am doing that more, but I'm not gonna, I'll save you guys some time and not do it today. And then the greeting is flat. I just think if you pop up everything on your cards, they're not as special, but <clears throat> that is a matter of opinion. <laughs> And then my Gingham Gala sequen sequins, they are so cute. You get flowers and regular sequins. Let me show you a colored one so you can see them better. And uh, I forget how many of each, but you get a ton because my set is all used up and I've cut some off and all that stuff. But you get the flowers and the sequins and they're sticky back. Um, you get Balmy Blue, which is this color here, Highland Heather, Grapefruit Grove, I think it's Daffodil Delight and Lemon Lime Twist. It's yellow, but I believe it's Daffodil Delight. Gingham Gala Adhesive Backed Sequins. Okay, so I like to use my paper piercing tool. Um, it's the one you, we used to poke holes in, but no one ever does that technique anymore, poke holes in our paper. Um, so I use it to pick up rhinestones, sequins, or any other sticky adhesive. Um, ad embellishments <laughs> because then I have it right here and I can place it anywhere I want on my project I can see where I'm placing it my fingers not in the way and I didn't like make it unsticky by touching it so there's our finished card here is the one originally the sample I put out at bingo they look pretty close to the same I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed that technique with the All Adorned stamp set and the Stamparatus. Um, <laughs> hey Pat, watching a little late, that's okay. The good thing about Facebook Live is replay, <laughs> so you can always see what you missed. Um, thank you, uh, Linda. I agree. I honestly kept going back and forth on what to show on Facebook Live today. <laughs> I was going to just do basically this design, but change the colors and maybe, you know, add something or use a different embossing folder or something because I knew the people that attended Bingo had already seen it. Then I just kept looking at the sample and I was like, oh, I just love how it looks. It, it kind of is like China, you know, blue China, um, which I'm not <clears throat> any kind of expert on China, but it reminds me of like an old fashioned, um, or antique look as well just the colors so I agree thank you for saying that um, <laughs> yes Helen I love it too um, it's really versatile like it's surprisingly versatile and there is another medallion image that you can layer on these or use as an accent there's a heart um, it says also has lots of love and miss you greetings so it's a really good set and it's free with purchase so hey even better um, I appreciate everybody watching my Facebook Live. Don't forget to comment if you watch the replay. Um, looking for my notes. I don't know where I put them, but I believe March 11th is the date I said. Basically, I'm doing the drawing next week. So if you comment and or share before next week, you'll get entered into my drawings. Comment to be entered to win the card kit. Share and say that you shared to be entered to win the embossing folder and this card I made today. <laughs> Okay, have a great day. Stay warm. Um, here in Texas, it's going to be cold for a few more days, or at least where I am in Texas. Um, and, oh, I'm assuming Barbara means a pet. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, 
So <laughs> anyway, she distracted me with that. Um, stay warm if you need to stay warm and have a great week and I will see y'all later. Bye.